I am not from here, uh, believe it or not. I know I'm pretty pale. <laughs> I blend in with you people, but that's all right. I'm originally from upstate New York. That's where I get this tan from. And uh, soak it in, ladies. That's just a joke, sir. I'm a pale, pale fellow. This isn't even a spotlight. This is just me glowing from being in the sun earlier today. I store light. So tan is not one of my colors. I have two colors. I have white and I have red. I have where I put sunscreen and where I mist with the sunscreen, right? At the end of the day, I just look like a big fat candy cane sitting on the beach. Big white handprint on my belly. That's not a good look. And I'm jealous of you people that tan, you get complimented, you know, strangers will come up and say, oh, what a beautiful tan. Whenever I spend all day in the sun, people come up and say, oh, that looks like it hurts. <laughs> you got a little fire engine red going there, lobster boy. <laughs> Put some noxema on that or something. I even have like a reddish hue to me. I don't know if I'm so pale, you can see the blood through my skin. Or what's going on? Like, whenever I Photoshop my pictures on the computer to remove the red eye, it just blacks out my whole face. <laughs> uh, it's good to be here. I'm staying at a very nice hotel. I don't want to brag. Uh, I got a pretty good memory foam mattress at the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, if you people don't know, a memory foam mattress is a mattress that lets you know exactly how fat you are. <laughs> That's right. Added bonus at the hotel, exactly how fat the person was the night before you were there. <laughs> and believe it or not, it's always good when they're bigger than you, kind of nestle in that crevice. <laughs> Doesn't feel so lonely. <laughs> they always get roped into the weird shampoo they have. I don't know, they, they have some kind of weird fruit or something. This time, uh, it's just said aromatic wood. Which I don't know when shampoo got into the wood business. I don't know if, if that's a good thing, you know, to walk into a room and everyone's like, oh, he smells like he just got done sanding a bench. <laughs> no, it smells like I'm out in the woods. Is that clean? I don't know. Every time they do a deodorant commercial for a mountain fresh deodorant, I think they're being sarcastic, you know what I mean? Like, all your friends that live in the mountains smell like crap, don't they? It's like, yeah, you're real mountain fresh, Bob. <laughs> mountain fresh. Had to rent a car, too. Never does a lot for your self-esteem when you go to the rental place. You ask for the cheapest piece of crap car you can get. Then they give you the same car that you actually own. We'll let that one sink in for a minute. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.